In early 2011, Corning, a global specialty glass and ceramics manufacturer based in upstate New York, created a video called A Day Made of Glass. Corning published this video online and gave us all a glimpse into the near future. In a remarkably short period of time, this visionary video captured the imaginations of millions, while demonstrating how highly engineered glass, with companion technologies, will help shape our world. In this video, we've built upon that vision. It's still a day made of glass, but we've expanded our thinking, and we take you to a few different places. In this version, I'll be your guide. Along the way, we'll pause to examine some of the technologies displayed, and I'll talk about what's possible and what's not. So follow me as we visit a day in the future. Right, now let's go inside. This is Amy's room. She's not quite awake yet. And this is her tablet. These will be as commonplace as the mobile phone is today. Uh-oh, looks like her alarm's about to go off. Amy's tablet captures organizes and displays all her favorite things. It also helps her at school and manages her schedule. It's encased entirely in an incredibly thin, lightweight, highly durable glass with specialized optics. Her bedroom window. It's electrochromic. It changes state from opaque to transparent on demand. Now, I'm not sure if you noticed, but this closet door is actually a display driven by Amy's tablet. All the intelligence that you see on this display, all these apps, they're all residing and running on Amy's tablet. This display spans the entire door. It has its own small footprint operating system and is smart enough to be aware of Amy's device. And based upon proximity and other rules, it knows what to display and in what format. To make this part of Amy's day a reality, Corning is helping to deliver large-scale, edge-to-edge -edge displays. Corning looks to partners for operating systems and apps that seamlessly scale and transfer between tablets and larger displays. Ah, looks like we're off to school. Excellent. Let's catch a ride, shall we? This is Sarah, Amy's sister. Her tablet is just like Amy's. It's her primary computing device too. Uh-oh, this looks like mischief. This dashboard is made from formed, thin, durable glass. It feels better than plastic and it looks better too. It's also a display, which means it can take on the appearance of pretty much anything. Of course, in driving mode, its function is to display critical and ancillary driving information. In tomorrow's world, configurable touch dashboards will be the norm. We'll have displays everywhere, not just in the home and in the office, but in your car too. Notice how Sarah's tablet was able to inform the car display? Dad certainly did. Okay, so how close are we to this? Well. It's doable now, but not at this scale and not at an affordable price. Further innovation in manufacturing is needed to get us there on a broad scale. Automotive electrochromic glass? That's possible now. And not just that, Corning can deliver window and sunroof glass solutions that offer reductions in vehicle gross weight of up to 50 pounds or 22 kilograms. And that improves CO2 emissions, fuel consumption and handling performance. One thing is for certain, tomorrow we'll be much better at harnessing energy from renewable sources. At Corning, we're striving to improve solar technology. There's no reason to think that the rooftops of tomorrow will not be covered in low-cost, high-efficiency photovoltaic cells. And with improved aesthetics, today's unsightly solar panel will be tomorrow's attractive architectural feature. Imagine a school that's not just energy independent, but a school that's an energy provider.
now. This is a classroom I would have been excited to be in. There's a display, not just at the head of the class, but on every desktop. Large scale, seamless, thin, durable glass. All of it fronting low power, small footprint operating systems that communicate and serve as displays for personal computing devices. Look at this. Had these been at school when I was a boy, you wouldn't have been able to get me out of the classroom. This is the class community activity table. And again, we see large scale, seamless design, logic enabled, durable, multi-touch glass. This may look like science fiction, but these already exist today. Perhaps not in this size or in this setting. But tables with interactive touch surfaces like this are being readied and deployed now. As software and touch interfaces advance, Corning expects community activity tables and interactive wall displays to be featured in classrooms globally. Now let's go and see what Dad's up to. Beautiful, isn't it? All that logic encased in low-profile, thin, resilient, touch-sensitive glass. I know what you're thinking. Why would one want an old glass room? Well, for starters, these walls could be active displays and configured for different situations depending on the required purpose of the room. Here, Dan is in a video conference and the entire glass wall has become the display. Edge to edge, seamless and touch sensitive. It's as if the remote location were now part of his room, making it easier to share and collaborate. Now that's breaking down barriers. This is really going to change the way we work. In here, all these surfaces on all this equipment are glass. Its pristine, non-porous and easy cleaning qualities make it ideal for sterile environments or any place where bacteria and viruses need to be contained. And with Corning's research efforts in the area of antimicrobial surface technology, we imagine a specialty glass that inhibits the growth of microorganisms. With that, our tomorrow could be a safer place. Pretty amazing, isn't it? All that data, captured a world away, transported, then displayed here, all in the blink of an eye. Wow! Although, just imagine the bandwidth needed to carry the data for this projection. And for that next generation, high definition glass video display, simultaneously. Yeah, a lot. Well, we're thinking about that at Corning too which is why we're preparing our glass optical fiber products to carry the massive surge in bandwidth required for scenarios just like this. Dan's got quite the job, doesn't he? Let's go see what Amy's up to. Looks like she's on the school field trip. Spectacular, isn't it? A large scale, durable information wall made of glass. This is dynamic interactive signage at an entirely different level. It creates a barrier where you need one. It's informative, it's interactive, it's aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't block the landscape. In fact, in this case, it enhances it. And it's made of glass. When it's not displaying information, it's transparent. Can we do this today? Not quite. Hiding all those electronics while retaining optical clarity is tricky at this scale. We'll get there though. Starting with smaller devices, a bit like what these kids have. Perfect for augmenting reality. Let's watch what goes on here. These tablets with onboard 3D cameras, sophisticated microprocessors and graphic subsystems can perform quickly enough to make sense of the immediate environment and to augment it with additional relevant content. All wrapped up in a durable, thin glass. 
Perfect for education. And perfect for a bit of fun too. That was an exciting day for Amy. And here at home, her tablet drives the family room edge-to-edge -edge wall display. Proximity-based authentication is all that's needed to establish a pairing. Now she can share all the best bits of her field trip with her family in next-gen, high-definition 3D. So here we are at the end. Right as Sarah completes her homework and prepares for bed, the glass optical fibre lighting dims and the house settles in for the close of a day made of glass. Of course, this is not just a story about glass. It's a story about a shift in the way we will communicate and use technology in the future. It's a story about ubiquitous displays, open operating systems, shared applications, cloud media storage and unlimited bandwidth. We know there are many obstacles to be overcome before what we've just seen can become an attainable, reliable reality. But at Corning, we believe in this vision and we're not waiting. Care to join us?